right, Black and White Network supporters. Well, it's Monday, and because it's Monday, you know what time it is. The series is back. That's right. What in the wide world of chaos happened in Chicago this weekend? And guys, I mean, when I tell you it turned into the Wild West, holy smokes. We're not talking about some kind of a holiday weekend here. 45 people got shot in Chicago, folks. Six in one place. I mean, it's it's unbelievable the amount of violence that these uh, these Democratic lawmakers did just seem to ignore, turn a blind eye to. Uh, we want to make sure we house and get it right with migrants, but the citizens of your city, nah, nah, who cares? And I got another little tidbit added to this video that we'll look at. The Chicago population is dropping. Now, I mean, uh, you got you got companies that are literally closing businesses up there because of crime rates. I can only imagine what the influx of migrants is also going to end up doing to that because, well, crime's going, for, going up from that too. But the data shows that during a certain time period, the population of Chicago, the, the citizens are bolting. They're leaving. My, my gut feeling is they're still leaving. All right? I bet you, I bet you in fact, it, they're leaving at a bigger rate than what we're going to talk about. But Brandon Johnson, and this tells you how much disrespect he's got for Chicago citizens, has made some comments about it. And it will drop your drop your draw drop your jaw. I assure you, uh, it did mine. Hell, it made it made me stutter. I'm I sound like Mel Tillis right now. I can't even talk. Does anybody know who Mel Tillis is anymore? I, I just gotta wonder. Wasn't he on Hee Haw for a while? I think maybe I don't know. Hell, who cares? I don't. This is uh, ABC 7. At least 45 people have been shot, one fatally. Man, how, how did only one person lose their life out of 45 people? By the way, I think several are in critical condition right now. In gun violence across Chicago so far this weekend, so far, two teenage boys and a man was wounded in a drive-by shooting in the Austin neighborhood Friday evening. A 14-year-old boy was struck in the ankle while another teen boy, 15, was shot in the butt. A grown man, 18, suffered a graze wound to the back. I mean, you got kids killing kids up there, folks. It's appalling. All three were taken to Stroger Hospital and were in good condition. No arrests were made. Good condition. Wow. Uh, do you think he's going to walk just fine? Struck in the ankle at 14 years old. Listen to this. On Saturday, a girl was accidentally shot by a family member. What? Family members just walking around packing all over the place. I guess they have to. They may be a drive-by shooting in their backyard. On the city's south side, shooting happened around 9.18 p.m. at the 6800 block of South Wabash Avenue. Check this out. The girl, nine years old, my wife's shaking her head, was taken to Comer Children's Hospital in good condition. My God, what is happening up there? That's that's just nuts. It it really is. Ah, uh, let's go over here. Oh wait, wait, wait. Uh, a twenty year old, a twenty one year old was shot in the right cheek. Dropped off at the hospital. Are we just opening doors and pushing people out now after they get shot? Twenty seven year old shot in the back twice in the left ankle was hospitalized in critical condition. Three other men, 39, 33, and 38, were shot in their legs. They're expected to be okay. Wow. No one in custody, CPD detectives are investigating. Minutes later, a 12-year-old boy was shot riding his bike on the city's south side. 
I, look, I, I need these people up there in Chicago to get as mad about this crap as they have about migrants. And look, the migrants thing should get you furious. But nine-year-olds and 12-year-olds getting shot should make you equally as furious, in my opinion anyway. So check this out. This was a mass shooting. Six people were wounded, three critically, in a mass shooting around 10 p.m. Saturday at the 700 block of South Albany Avenue. Police said a group of men were hanging out in that area when an unknown number of offenders opened fire from a distance. Three of the men, 23, 21, and 27, were critically wounded, while three other men were hospitalized. A 38-year-old man was killed just after 11.30 Sunday in the 500 block of North Lemington Avenue. Police said there was an altercation between two men. They produced firearms. One of those men fired shots at two men in the area. Victim was struck in the eye, died at the hospital. A 50-year-old man was struck in the back and was hospitalized in good condition. I'm still trying to figure out how all of these people getting shot are in such great condition. It's it's kind of jaw-dropping to me. Uh, Crazy. Absolutely crazy. So, speaking of crazy, as a shithouse rat, let's go over and take a look at this decreased population scenario we got going on in Chicago Chicago retained its long-standing position as the country's third largest city, despite experiencing a decline in population for yet another year, according to the Census Bureau. Updated numbers released Thursday showed the Windy City lost approximately 0.3% of its population between July 1, 2022 and July 1, 2023. Chicago Mayor's Brandon Johnson addressed the decline saying the underlying causes of population loss in Chicago are, quote, deeply rooted in historic disinvestment. Oh, my God. That's something a socialist would say. The lack of affordable housing, loss of jobs, and closed schools and mental health clinics have impacted many Chicago securities and disproportionately hurt black Chicagoans In particular, how dare you bring up caring about black Chicagoans? Again, a 9-year-old girl and a 12-year-old boy were shot over the weekend. You literally did not name crime in this little bullshit rant you went on. God. That's nuts. Now, listen to how much more he does not care about you citizens of Chicago. Because he seems to be just fine with illegal aliens, illegal migrants backfilling the population. And when people talk about these illegal migrants influencing the national elections, this is the statements that worry a lot of people. Johnson, in the statement, appeared to question the findings, saying, quote, It is likely that data inputs are not current enough to reflect the rebound of international migration and the recent inflow of asylum seekers. So he's saying, double middle finger, Chicago residents, I don't care. We're adding them back from illegals. So go ahead and leave. I know you've been here paying your taxes, but bleep you. We don't care. We're backfilling them with the illegals. He's just fine pushing you out of the city. Wow. And he's literally telling you this. The mayor did acknowledge Chicago, like other big cities, was affected, quote, by large drop in net international migration on the onset of the pandemic. And population counts were further impacted by incomplete counts for residents. This dude is literally saying, okay, you remember when the border was locked down because of the pandemic? Oh, that's a problem because the border should have been wide open so we could keep our numbers up. He's blaming Donald Trump. That's what he's doing. Wow. 
Again, who knew it could get worse than Lori Lightfoot? I didn't know. Did you know? Man, if there ever was a reason for Chicago citizens to follow through with all of those red caps that say, make America great again, there you have it. 45 people shot in one weekend, a 9-year-old, a 12-year-old. Your population, people are leaving the city. (laughs) People that paid their taxes are leaving the city. We know why those companies closed down. It was because of crime. Brandon Johnson ignores that, but says, meh, it's fine. We'll backfill with the illegals. Bleep, y'all. Wow. (laughs) I mean, they, once again, Democrats don't care about you. Blacks, Democrats, I repeat, Democrats don't give a rat's F about you. They don't care. Now, I'm just saying. Tell me what you think about Brandon Johnson and Gotham. Now, I don't think, well, is New York, uh, New York supposed to be Gotham, but I don't know. If this was Gotham, Batman would probably just leave. He'd be like, eh, I can't deal with this. Peace, I'm out. Till next time.